Lynn. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. If you happen to be in that storm, be safe, folks. You are only responsible for your half of the relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're only responsible for your half of that relationship. It is not up to you to control the other half, respect the other half, and there was always going to be peace in that relationship. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 34, NASDAQ off 24, S&P's down 10, gold contract down $5.90, trading at 1197 an ounce. Silver down eight cents at sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents an ounce. Platinum down three bucks, nine thirty-six an ounce. You get copper up penny and a half, two sixty-three a pound. Light sweet crude off sixty-nine cents, trading forty-seven dollars seventy-one cents a barrel. The uh, oil market, folks, that baby wants to go after forty-five. Uh, that's the lowest swing point out there. Notes, ten-year note up two ticks, one twenty-two twenty-eight. 30-year bond up 17 ticks, 146.29. Now, both notes and bonds got under their January swing low. Now, the rejected lower price uh, thus far today, and uh, we get some juice to the, going to the upside. We'll see how we come into this close out here. King dollar. King dollar up 410 ticks, trading at 101.650, 605. Uh, the euro is trading at 106 to the U.S. dollar, and the yen is at 114.73 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We've done 43 million shares. You're going into the bar from, November, from uh, March 9th. So March 9th, the low of the bar is 235.74. The high is 237. 24. You did 19 million shares. Thus far, we're into this with 43 million. You're rejecting lower price. So bottom line is that that's saying it wants to go topside once again, and that opens up 238.37, which is the low of the high that was generated out here on March 1st. Nas that's on the NASDAQ. We go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Same type of setup in the Dow. You know, the, the high volume data we've had uh, in the last past uh, couple weeks, folks, was the downdraft that we had, the small downdraft uh, on March 9th. Now, we're coming into that today, and the indices are coming in with lighter volume. Uh, the NDX 100, however, isn't. If we go over to the NDX 100, you'll see there's some divergence out here. Uh, the divergence being, well, actually, it's not, it's not as much as I thought. So here, check this out. We were at 10 million shares uh, right now. So yesterday... The NDX 100 went up and had 10.7 million shares. Uh, we go down today with 11.3. You're coming into, however, 20 million. So bottom line is that, yeah, we can do 15 million. We'll see where this uh, shakes out, meaning we've hit, we're at 131.25. Uh, this only has to close over 131.02. 131.02 is the high of the low last week on the 9th. The composite, we take a look at the composite, what we have with the NASDAQ composite, same type of setup. Composite's down 20 bucks. You're at 58.54. Uh, 58.52 um, would be the number. You close over 58.52, bottom line, that's going to go right for the highs once again. Gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract right now is trading at a price point of 1,200 even. Uh, you've got to 12.10 today. Uh, it's giving it up on price right now, and we'll see whether it's going to you know, go after this uh, 1198 uh, when this Fed hike uh, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So we get the Federal Reserve started the meeting today. You have a statement at 2 o'clock tomorrow. You have a news conference at 2.30. So bottom line, um, you know, the market is expecting a... 25 basis points or a quarter point rate hike, short term rate hike. Uh, bottom line is that it's going to be what's in the statement and what the news conference um, expectation is. And right now, when you're thinking we're only on March 15th tomorrow, uh, you've had two rate hikes uh, and they claim that they were going to do three within the course of the year. Well, the bottom line is that uh, we're still only in March. Uh, it seems that 
they could do a lot more than three in the course between uh, March 15th and next December. Ten-year note. What do they have with the note? So the note right now is trading at 122.28. This has to get back inside 123. Now you're close. There's only, you know, it hit 122.31. You get back inside that 123, that's going to say, hey, guess what? You couldn't bang them down. Couldn't bust them down. It's going to go bust the top side once again, which would be the 125 area. We go take a look at the 30-year bond. Now, the 30-year bond has a lot further to go. 30-year bond right now is at 146.30. That would have to get back inside 147.21. King dollar. We go over to King dollar. Now, King dollar is up 400 ticks. King dollar still can't handle higher price. Um, this came down fast, furious, all of the above on Friday. Uh, you're doing a bounce here with 20,000 contracts versus uh, downtown with 55,000 contracts. And on top of that, what we did have is that from the February 2nd um, trend up, that broke that trend with conviction. Now, it's going to be pretty cool is that what we are doing right now is that when we broke the trend line, that trend line is, is set up right now. Uh, we're coming right into the back side of it, meaning, you know, you break a trend line, you had wide price spread accelerated volume, you're coming back up and you're testing it. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this whole test uh, shake out, you know, see if it can get back inside the higher level. And we're pretty close to it. It's 101.675. Uh, thus far, we're at 101.620. So... As we come into this close, this is going to be a wild close watching this whole thing shake out. The reason I'm saying that is you go over to the small caps, what the IWM has done is this. The IWM has done 25 million shares. You're coming into a B point and you broke the B. Now, I don't think the, the small caps are going to do another 10 million into the close. They can, however, because what does happen with the small caps is this, is that at the close, this ETF structure throws a huge amount of shares because that's when they're going to basically even the net asset value out. So this one's going to be an important one to watch because if we do break, uh, well, if we do have more than uh, 35 million shares, guess what? That's an ABC structure on the way down. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th.